I'd like to analyze a one-dimensional elastic collision between a huge mass and a tiny mass. Because this mass is so huge, when there's a collision, the net force on this huge mass will not cause a very significant acceleration. However, the net force on this car in the collision will because it has so little mass. Because of that, we're going to consider this to be an inertial reference frame, or at least a better inertial reference frame than this car. So we can use relative motion concepts to predict the outcome of this collision. Okay, now they're going to be approaching each other at equal speeds. We start with this expression here. This gives us the original velocity of cart one relative to cart two. If you add that to the original velocity of cart two relative to the track, you will get the original velocity of cart one relative to the track. Since the original velocity of cart two relative to the track is equal to the negative of the original velocity of cart one relative to the track, we conclude that the original velocity of cart one relative to two is equal to twice the original velocity of cart one relative to the track. Now since the collision is elastic, we can also write that the final velocity of cart one relative to two is equal to the negative of the original velocity of cart one relative to two. Let me demonstrate. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this and I'm going to push cart one toward it and you can see that it goes away with the same speed as it came in to cart two. Now, we can also relate the final velocity of cart one to the track, in fact, that's our unknown, to the final velocity of cart one relative to two, which we just talked about, and the final velocity of cart two relative to the track. Since the cart two is so massive, its velocity will hardly change in the collision. So that's how I get from this step to this step. The final velocity of cart one relative to the two we saw earlier is equal to the negative of the original velocity of cart one relative to two. Which we saw up here is equal to twice the original velocity of cart one relative to the track. So this term becomes this. The original velocity of car two relative to the track is equal to the opposite of the original velocity of car one relative to the track. Okay, we stated that up here earlier on. So our conclusion is that the final velocity of car one relative to the track is equal to negative three times the original velocity of car one relative to the track. Let's try it. Now again, we're assuming that this is a huge mass. So this could be like, for example, the Earth moving through space. And this could be an asteroid on a collision course with the Earth. If the, if the collision is elastic, the asteroid should move away at three times the speed. So let's do that again and watch the motion of the Earth and watch the motion of the asteroid. And you could actually import this video, this video into um, a video analysis program and check the actual speeds. Now this um, 
demonstration you just saw and its explanation can help you better understand what is known as gravity assist, where we use the gravitational field surrounding a planet to boost the momentum of an incoming spacecraft. 